Come up TV. This is about the church arena, like the church industry. You know, we know this man of God who has been very, very prominent when it comes to prophecy slash prediction slash foretelling and future telling of things that are going to happen. There was a time he was called the octopus of football in, in Nigeria. That is not a person, but the general overseer of synagogue of all nations, that is TV Joshua Prophet, a great man who has been very influential and who has been very, very in-depth when it comes to nation building. In his own way, he's been he's a great philanthropist and at some point he had, he had to load um, the full plane to go to Haiti when they had issues. So he's been giving out, he's been reaching out to a lot of people, he's been doing his miracles and healing people and we know he's also been propagating the gospel, so which is giving him so much edge and profile in the country. Some people say he's from the devil some say he's from god me i don't know who am i to say where he is from i am not god it is only god and those who is real or fake but what i'm here to talk about is that the man of god who is always who's 97 or 96 percent of his predictions or prophecies have come to pass had come up to give us a release and a date for coronavirus Wow. You know, Africa, we are very, very religious. Lord, have mercy on my soul. Yes, but it, it, it's like our religiosity is actually walking right now because Corona is not trending in Africa. It's not moving. And I know some men of God will say it is because they pray, though. <laughs> he said because they've been fasting. But since they're fasting and praying, the leaders of Nigeria and the leaders of Africa, they've not received sense. To actually make our economy and our continent move forward. But this prayer right now that Corona is not moving on well here. They will be taking glory. Wow. But you know, you know, like in the US, churches like T D Jax, um, this this everyday guy, what's his name? Joe Austin, the churches are shut down and um, you know, but here I know Nigeria will not shut any church because there is no corona here and by the spirit. Corona will not come. So moving forward, TV say US, you're putting a restriction on UK. That's not the UK really, but Europe. That that is not the solution to it. He said he is on his knees. All him and the crew members and the church members, they are on their knees praying for God. You know, for God. Because it was earlier insinuated that he prophesied that a disease or a virus that will humble the world will come. So still on TV matter, you know, he has come up to give his prediction about coronavirus. This is a man with so much controversy surrounding him. And when he say or speaks a thing like that, this right now, um, people will be like, that is not true, that's true, or it will come to pass or it will not come to pass. But fairness, he's given a date 27th of March which happens to be next week and we are very expectant we want to know we want to see we want to confirm this thing you know if this virus will vanish he said no worries that the virus will go back to where it came from that it came for just is not going to last you know and it's going to affect the u.s election i know we know that tb joshua has been against donald trump in the last election he predicted clinton will win <laughs> and the lord said no man of god it will not work this time <laughs> It is Trump oh, and Trump won. Right now he's saying he's good. But commonsensically, the virus prevails till election time. Is that going to affect the election? Is that what the prediction? I don't know. But what I'm saying is Uncle TB, sorry, Prophet TB Joshua has given a date. <laughs> so we are waiting patiently because we like this. <laughs> we like to hear our man of God speak and see it come to pass. Lord have mercy on my soul. Yes. Are you not scared? A man of God has spoken. Coronavirus, you need a fear. Don't even near Nigeria because hot men are here. They will eat you and chop you. They will eat you raw. Yeah, so this is only about coronavirus and the predictions surrounding it. And I think after TB Joshua actually gave his prediction, other prophets have taken cue. It's always like that. They've taken cue and a lot of prophet, prophets are prophesying the death and the end of T um, sorry, coronavirus. So we see how that goes. And we are praying. If that is actually going to happen, let it happen. Let it come to an end. Let the world move on. Let the world move on because the world is really at a standstill right now. Nobody oversaw, like, could envisage this happen. And um, it's not going the right way at all. The whole of England shut down. The whole of 
schools in the U.S. shut down. They are even contemplating on shutting courts down in the U.S. Any gathering at all, shut down. Churches are shut down. Things are not moving. It's affecting the world economy. And China not buying oil from Nigeria, affecting Nigerian economy too. So it's, even if Corona is not here presently, but its effect is actually, actually here. So I don't know. This is not really good at all. So whatever you think about this, put down in the comment section below and um, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Then on Facebook, please hit the follow button. Put your comment below on Facebook, your comment on YouTube, your comment. Let us know what you think about this virus spreading and um, when it's going to come and end. Bye for now. My name is Donald and this is Mufti. Do not go nowhere.